In the news this week, the government bows to pressure on betting machine cuts. Welsh ministers ignore public opinion on offering abortions to Northern Irish women and children with Down syndrome bid for endangered status. Hello. The government has agreed to bring forward its proposed cuts to fixed odds betting terminals to April 2019 following cross-party pressure. The cuts had been set for next October, but Culture Secretary Jeremy Wright said that the government had listened to Parliament's concerns and acted accordingly. Tracy Crouch, the former sports minister who resigned in protest at the delay, said she was pleased that common sense has prevailed. I hope through my resignation I have given a voice to many people who felt that they weren't being heard about the harms of these machines and ultimately at the end of the day we now have the right outcome for them. The Christian Institute's Simon Calvert also welcomed the climb down. It's obviously good news that they brought forward the cuts to the maximum stake for FOBTs. Um, everybody knows how addictive these machines can be and, and anything that we can do to try to reduce their addictiveness and reduce their impact on society is obviously a good thing. I think the issue now is we have to encourage our politicians to look at what else they can do to deal with problem gambling and especially to deal with the issue of children and young people being drawn into gambling. You watch football and television or you go to a match these days and you're surrounded by adverts for gambling. I really do think that the politicians need to be looking into that, into mobile gambling and into other areas where we must try to rein back this gambling culture which is taking hold. The Welsh Government has announced that Wales will offer free abortions to women from Northern Ireland through the NHS, despite more than 98% public opposition. Results from a consultation which closed in February revealed that only 14 responses supported the proposal, while 788 opposed it. The Welsh Government ignored the overwhelming majority of responses on the grounds that the objections were too similar. The Christian Institute's Kieran Kelly called it an appalling misuse of the consultation process. Only 14 people supported the Welsh Government's plans to offer abortions to women from Northern Ireland. They have treated 98% of respondents with utter contempt. There has always been deep respect for the sanctity of life across the province. Northern Ireland has always had good laws uh, on abortion. And the um, people of Northern Ireland, and not just Christians, uh, have supported those laws because they know that abortion is wrong. A group of doctors have been criticised for saying that primary school children should be taught what it means to be lesbian, gay or bisexual. Draft government guidance on relationships education says that schools are free to determine how they approach LGBT issues as long as it is age appropriate. But in response to the government's consultation, some medics say the guidance should go even further. Critics from the Family Education Trust say that requiring primary schools to teach children about homosexuality is inappropriate. To do so would run the risk of sexualising children at a vulnerable stage in their development and cause significant confusion. And finally, a Canadian charity has launched a new campaign to put people with Down syndrome on the endangered species list. You're probably wondering why I'm dressed like a polar bear. Or a lion. Or a panda. Is it because I'm strong? Roar! Because I'm beautiful? Nope. It's because like some animals. People with Down syndrome. People like me. Are endangered. That's why we're applying to be the first. People. 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 On the endangered list. A spokesman said that animals on the endangered species list get all the support they need, but that people with Down syndrome need help too. Across Canada and the US, animal rights charities receive 90% more funding than Down syndrome charities. Around the world, unborn babies with Down syndrome are routinely aborted. In Canada, close to 90% are aborted. The figure is 92% in the UK, and in Iceland, almost all unborn children with the condition are aborted. Well, that's all for this week. For more information on all of our stories and much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.